I don't this talk girl. Wrong. Really? I'm like I'm like I, I I act like I'm at the dentist. I just that's I'm the not, only time you shut up during sex and sleep. I bet you talk in your sleep, bro. I do talk in my sleep. Hundred <laughs> percent. We are supported by Keeps. Two out of three men will experience some form of hair loss by the time they are 35. It's nice to know that I fit in that statistic. There are only two FDA approved medications that can prevent hair loss. And guess what? Keeps offers both. These guys do it nice and easy. They keep it simple, stress-free. And this is what, a, an actual opportunity to keep your hair. Convenient virtual doctor consultations and medications delivered straight to your door every three months. You don't have to leave your home. Low cost. Treatment started just $10 per month and keeps offers generic versions. Discreet packaging and proven results. Prevention is key. Treatments can take four to six months to see results. So you know what you need to do? You need to act fast as in act now. If you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to keeps, K-E-E-P-S dot com slash bears to receive your first month of treatment for free. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash bears to get your first month free. Keeps dot com, K-E-E-P-S dot com slash bears. <laughs> he doesn't have to do that when Tom's here because Tom says some outrageous fucking statement about me being an asshole or racist or something, and then we start. That's how we start. I he, usually he used to do it when I sat in this seat. He would do it in um, count in it Hebrew. Down? He count down in Hebrew. Nadav, it's the only way I would let him do it. Wait, Hebrew uses different numbers. It sure does. <laughs> it should. I, I can't believe I just made that I, I statement. I can't either. Are you I serious? can't believe I just said that. <laughs> I, I wasn't a hey, language, stop, 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 a stop, language that's stop, been around stop, longer than stop, ours. Stop, stop. I was, I, I was, God damn it. I didn't mean the, I, I was thinking of the actual number itself written down. Mm -hmm. I wasn't thinking of the word. I, I was thinking of the actual, one, I was like, I was like, wait, two. in a second, I was like, when you're in French and you go, I'll see you in one minute, do you write, like, are you just going to write the numeral? I was thinking of the numeral. Do you guys have different numerals? Uh, well, I mean, all the letters, they kind of st stand for numbers also. Are they bigger? You owe me 10 cents. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we count from right Wait, to Wait, is the knob laughing? It's only funny if he's laughing. <laughs> I don't know. I couldn't hear him over my <laughs> laughter. <laughs> I couldn't hear him over my laughter either. <laughs> so everyone, Tom's at fat camp. Um... <laughs> We sent him there. He had a, an incident. He blew out his knee. The refrigerator fell on him. And he was just going at it so hard. <laughs> he's fucking skinny now. Yeah, he is skinny. His, his head looks bigger than it's ever looked now because he's skinny. The picture he took. Can I just tell you? And I know this is a little after the fact. Push has never looked sexier in her. I think Push is an attractive woman. Christina has always been an attractive Much more attractive woman. when she was younger. But... <laughs> but <laughs> There's a picture of Push in a shower from Road Rules days that is like fucking jack material. Like, have you ever seen that picture? To, I, I, th I, I thought I saw the picture, but yeah, this this shit right here. This, from the live if I, I wanted to text Tom. Listen, and, I would date that girl right there. I was like, I have dated that girl I wanted, right there. I want to send Leanne to that lady and have her just dress up Leanne like that so I could take it for a spin once. Just one night. There's so much that woman, that woman, that woman would let you do to her. Oh, you, she'll do everything to you. And then, you, you know why it's good, that, that woman for one night? Because in the end, you're going to pass out after sex. She's going to rob you, and she's going to show herself out. Yeah. That's perfect. Yeah. There's, there's, I just got to get my gonna, license and credit cards let's renewed say, the next day. Let's say statements that have been said to us during sex that this woman would never say. I'll start. Uh, you need to trim your fingernails. That hurts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll trade you one. I can't believe I fucked a white guy. <laughs> Has actually been said to me. <laughs> Why is it when racism happens back to us, it's so fucking hilarious? It's hilarious. Yeah. Like any sort of microaggression, I find engaging. <laughs> I'm with you on it, dude. Like I, I fucking, <laughs> I, f I tripped it was last last night. Leanne and I went out to eat for the first time outdoors. I am not comfortable around people yet. I have not gotten my. Like my but how do you do your stand? Even with your stand-up shows, you just go up on stage and you I stay never talk away to anybody. I never crowds. talked to anybody. Yeah. I was in a fucking tour bus with you know five people, seven people, 
And then we would park behind the thing. We'd walk. I never touched anyone. Never talked to anyone. You go to Rite Aid, dude. It is oh, like yeah, you got to get like, in line. People like the, stand on top of you and shit. It's like being on Southwest. Mm-hmm. Remember when the first time you were on Southwest and everyone's just fucking like, hey, can I sit on your lap? And you're like, what the fuck? Um, I I we went out to dinner and I tripped, and these this table of black women laughed so fucking hard at me tripping, and I didn't get upset with them. I didn't like. They were like, I mean, you'd think there was a slam dunk contest. Like they like got out of their chairs. <laughs> they moved silverware around like, oh shit, look at this motherfucker right here. And I, and I didn't get upset. I went, yeah, you know, like, Grr. and then went down, sat with Leanne and got wasted. Um, but, uh, but I, yeah, it's like, I'll give you a perfect example. Like, and by the way, I'm on his side. Before we start this, I want to make it very clear. Because a lot of times I've said statements like, oh, I wish that cop had tased Reese Witherspoon. And I feel like people misread that statement. <laughs> I'm always on the celebrity's side, okay? I am a Hollywood whore. That's getting clipped out. <laughs> All the people that think I'm a fucking Hollywood phony, you're so right. I'm not moving to Austin. I'm staying in Hollywood. I want to sell out. I want to fucking have like, oh, 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 name dropping. Have you ever hung out with someone that's really good? I've been all over a fucking million pieces. Whatever I was about to say, what was I about to say? I want to talk about Hassan. I want to talk about uh, my very good friend of mine. I'm, I'm fucking not being a cunt right now. This is why I made a preface. Hassan Minaj. I think I said it right. Correct. Uh, because he, oh, he was on Ellen and he's pr- pointed out that his name has been said wrong so many... Fu- By the way, put name dropping down. But also, he, he has, and I know him, and I like him. I love him. I but, love his But show. he also, he said his fucking name like that. He did? Yeah, a ton of times. And no one else corrected him. Every time, every <laughs> Why would time... You correct someone on saying their own name? But I'm saying when <laughs> they would say... <laughs> Introduce yourself to me. Hey, man, I'm, I'm Bert. I'm Ryan. It's No, it's Bert. Ryan. It's, you gotta, Bert. It's, it's Bert. It's Bert. It's, it's Bert. Bert. <laughs> It's fair. It's fair. It's fair. No, Trevor Noah said Hassan Minaj a million times. For real? And no, yes, and no one ever corrected him. And then all of a sudden, it became, "Hey, you guys are saying it wrong." And it's like, "Well, then why haven't you said something before that?" Well, I think you know that's what because that, we are okay. ignorant. I mean, we are. Look, here's another thing. My email. I'm not gonna. Look, you know him. I be, I I don't even think I I've him. met him. But I, I like him a lot. I like him too. a lot too. But I, I. But then also, I feel like a moron because apparently I've been saying your name like guys like Trevor Noah have been saying it all this time, and we're all wrong. And then you go. He went on Ellen and was correcting everybody about like this is how you fucking say it. Well, I'll, I'm gonna defend him. His parents. Okay, ima- his parents are in the audience, right? Yes. Imagine you're a hundred percent. I don't know his da- father's path. But I'm certain it didn't start like bro. That's at a not country how we club. say it. Yeah, <laughs> and and you that's name your kid yeah. something, and they're going on Ellen, and your dad says to you backstage, buddy, just make her say it the way I fucking put her on the birth certificate. Just please, you're on fucking television. Do it tonight, and you know, you know, he's now. like, dad, it's such a fucking headache. It's Ellen. You don't know this, but by the way, I've, I've went to bat for Ellen, so I'm not going to shit on her. <laughs> so but I gotta stop shitting on people because I hate it yeah, when it you happens love to me. And then, and then when it happens to you, when you see people shit on you, you got to fucking applaud them and go, I do it too. It gets ratings. So, um, but I, I don't mind hearing the right way to say his name. I don't mind it. I don't either. And yeah, I like, I, but I want to know it from the get go. I don't want to be calling you something for three years and then be like, man, that's not even how you say my name. Like, why the fuck <laughs> I get, I get, do you know people call me Rick all the time? I, I get, you, you're telling me I get Rick. You're telling me all the time. I've been called Brent Chrysler my entire fucking life. <laughs> but do you? But do you correct them? Never, I, never. Me, I just, I just that's char- the thing. I charge into the game. <laughs> I don't care if Ellen called me Rick. I'm not gonna fucking say it on the show. I'm like, I'm just gonna go with Rick Sickler. Burnt Chrysler. <laughs> I am more known as. I wonder if Burnt Chrysler trends more than Burt Chrysler. Like Burnt Chrysler, and that is a purposeful one. See what? See, I understand what he's saying when like. I, I saw this article in the LA Times and they were saying it, it's a microaggression or it's the subtle racism of Asians when you mispronounce their names. I actually get it if like you do it in like a Key and Peele way, like uh, uh, Fernane. <laughs> yeah. For, I get, I get, I, I understand that that is a thing, a real thing. But like I've been saying, I've been hate criming his, uh, 
that guy's name for a long fucking time. But only because we, that's what I want to get clear, but only because I'm not even going to say his fucking name. Like that. I'm not even yeah. going to say his fucking name. And the guy that was on Silicon Valley that's jacked, fuck that guy. I'm never talking about that guy again. Kumal Who knows? Don't say it! Don't say it! I know how to say it. I guarantee you, Kumail, oh, let's call Kumail and find out how to pronounce his Calm. name. Well, you think Kumail answers her FaceTime? I, I think FaceTime. he's going to think this is the most racist call you've ever made to him, probably. <laughs> Are you really this, asking me? Are you waking I me up to ask me how I, you say my name, you white piece of shit? <laughs> you don't know Jews have numbers. You don't fuck it. <laughs> Did you use numbers, Nadav? You guys use you have a numerical I, system I, at all? I, or? I'm trying to talk to him. I haven't talked to him. I, talk, hey, you, I know we're in the middle of a pandemic and things are on the turn, but how do you pronounce your name? <laughs> <laughs> like it's pronounced go fuck yourself <laughs> say it like you're killing the goat <laughs> say it say it say it say it say it say it, say it the way it, it should be written on a scroll <laughs> oh, oh god fuck I almost called him and was like how do you say your name <laughs> Asshole. You say it like you say it. Not Daddy. <laughs> fuck you, Bert Chrysler. <laughs> Bert oh, Chrysler. Fuck me. <sighs> oh, <laughs> fucking ten minutes in. We're not gonna last. You stopped me from looking to FaceTime. I shouldn't have, but I did. FaceTime him. I did. It better for the Face content. Him. I, yeah, hey, FaceTime him. Hey, say your name. <laughs> say your name. I'm going to call Donnell. Hey, pull over. <laughs> oh, God. Here's the biggest problem is as comics, with the, like, we have, we, with our community, have such a fucking wide berth of, like, jokes we can make about each other. Like, like so, like, I, I bet that guy... Is like I'm just don't want to fuck it up. Minhaj, I, I believe I, it I is. I don't want to fuck it up because it, it now it's like he just told me how to say it, and it was so fucking much better. It's better than Hassan Minhaj. Yeah, the way I say it, I say it like Nicki Minaj. <laughs> <laughs> I say, I I've thought they were even put the two together. I thought they were brother and sister. <laughs> when she first came out, I was like, oh shit, man, his Hassan sister's smoking, <laughs> dude. And I've always been into Indian chicks. I've like just recently though, not my whole life, actually my whole life. I was in tennis camp with this chick that was smoking fucking hot. Sm I don't know what it is. Is I mean, Nicki Minaj is not Indian? Yeah, we know that. Yeah, I knew that. Okay. I knew that just when you typed Put it, it up in numbers, Nadal. So wait, is is Hassan, uh, do you like, I'm trying to put a little English on it? Uh-huh. And I, the funny thing is, I don't think you accent the first name. I think it's his last name. But keep oh, doing real? it. Yeah, keep Hassan. doing it, It's though. Hassan. It's Hassan. It's Hassan. Oh, will really? You, will you play it on, on Okay, well, then I'm so way So I can fucking not dead name this That's not how he said it on, on Ellen. I don't think Say it's it Hassan. Play it on. It's, yeah, it's Hassan. It's, is it? It's Hassan Minhasan. Hassan. Hassan Minhaj. Hass yeah, only fucking Americans would put a like an a a heavy on on it, like they're ordering medication. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I keep thinking this. Ben Askren sounds like a medication. Like when you just ben go Askren. every time I hear Ben Askren, I think, ooh, what are the side effects? <laughs> can you play it on like just so in my ears so I can hear it? Hassan, it's Hassan, right? I don't think he says that on. He Ellen. does. He fucking does. It's very different than I've ever been saying. I thought it, it was his last name. That and by the way, it hit a sensitive place on my head because it doesn't fuck me up when people mispronounce my name. But like when people do it on purpose, it it this is gonna sound sensitive. I'm very sensitive. Sometimes people do it to like make like to mock me that don't know me. And I'm like, easy, bro. My friends can do it. Right. Fans can do it. I don't really know you. Don't put it on the fucking billboard. Like they'll do it. Oh, when that's I'm, happened. When I'm doing a theater, they'll put on uh, burnt Chrysler, and I go, "That's not funny to me." Like I'm a fucking pre no. Now it's gonna happen at every fucking billboard. I've ever <laughs> How's this say? You're yeah. It, but it, I don't find it hilarious. As like, like I love the Kool Aid jokes. I love all the jokes, but put my fucking name on the thing. So I understand where he's coming from. Mm -hmm. That's why it connected with me. I go, and especially with his dad. Like I've watched them mispronounce Isla's name, and I go. Take a second. Like, you know, it's, it's, they'll go, Illa. They've called her Ilac for a long time. Ilac? Cause fuck face Isla. 
my, I love my daughter. <laughs> she had, she had written on her PE clothes, Isla K, uh, and just written them too close, so it said Ilac, mm -hmm. and every, and you know Isla's kind of a quiet kid, so everyone just read her name as Ilac, and she never corrected everyone. And so they kept calling her and they were marking her absent because they go, is I lack here? And she wouldn't say anything. And Leanne's like, she's like got a bunch of absences from PE and she's at school. I don't get it. And it's because the teacher thought her name was I lack. And so instead of Isla K. And so Isla just went with it and just was being called I lack for a semester. And, and we get were like, marked abs. Yeah. And we're like, hey, Isla, you just put a spade. Can we get a new PE shirt? And then we wrote Isla period K period. Like, you know. So I understand it. I understand it. And it hit a sensitive place for me. Let me hear it exactly how he says it. Yeah. Hass Hassan. I sound like I'm saying a hate crime. Hassan. Really? Well, my name is Hassan Minhaj. Hassan. Oh. Hassan Minhaj. 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 That's what I've... Hassan I've, Minhaj. Yeah, I've always said Minhaj. Yeah. Really? Minhaj. Well, my name is Hassan Minhaj. Hassan, oh. Hassan Minhaj. I'm saying Hassan. Like a Hassan. Yeah, it's like, like it's a, a bottle of water. But that's because that's how it's been said incorrectly in the past, and we give hear me, shit Give me like Trevor that. Noah saying uh, Hassan Min Minaj's name. I'm never going <laughs> to. I, 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 need, I actually need him to just go back to Hassan Minaj because I'm going to. It's going to. I'm just going to look <laughs> fucking how horrible. Ignorant we are. Can you is, please is it, just can you can name. you please just change your name and you can call me Burnt Chrysler for the rest of your life. <laughs> you got it. You can call me Straight Burnt Fuckface Chrysler all <laughs> you want. Give me a minute to try and find the exact. Okay. Name. Okay. We'll keep headsets on. I actually like headsets sometimes. <laughs> if you're smoking weed and do a podcast, headsets really do help. Yeah, I always hear better with uh, headphones on when I smoke weed. I, I, I've honest to God. I go back at least once a year and I put on old Richard Pryor uh, albums and I listen with headphones. I lay oh. in the dark and I hear shit that at the table or, or a converse, something someone said in the crowd that you don't ever normally hear if you're driving or traveling or whatever. What's he got here? What's crazy is, you know, um, Hassan, uh, God damn it. Every time he did stand up, you know, someone was like, hey, man, how do I say your name? And he said it right. And the guy was like, cool. Put your hands together for Hassan Minaj. Have you ever, uh, er, in the early days, fuck someone's name up, bringing them up when you hosted or anything? So badly. Yeah, me too. So badly, and it, and it, the first time it ever happened to me, said so obviously Who no, was it? no one can pronounce Kreischer, like Kreischer, Kreischer. Uh, there was a there was um there was a comedy group called the Burt Firstners. That's the, yeah, really the Burt Firstners, and so for a period of time I was called Burt Firstner. Like they just would look at it and go, "Oh, it's a Burt Firstner," and so they. I was called Burt Firstner. It never, it never bothered me, but I, I guess. Oh, okay. Here's Trevor Noah saying it. Let's hear him say it. The last day we get to see Hassan Minaj. Okay. Okay, okay Trevor. Thank you. I've been saying it like that all these years because because a very woke left he's not he is very republican well guy. i'm just saying no he does a character it's like Stephen i know Colbert. right like he he is very republican is Trevor Noah, i don't very know and this liberal guy is a character he's not even black you know that no, I'm <laughs> <laughs> this show is it's a character dance. it's a character no if you're right if he's he is very by the way i've that's twice i've gone after trevor noah and i never i like trevor noah a lot i'm not going after i him, don't though. dislike him i'm just saying I when, when people i look to in comedies who work with the guy on a daily basis say his name wrong how are you going to get mad at the rest of us for doing it when it's presented to us like that on it on it so he went on ellen and corrected it but all i'm saying is we are not pieces of shit prior to ellen now no. This episode we are, but prior to this Ellen, episode, yeah, we're, we're in the weeds. We're in the weeds on this episode. Deep in the weeds. We're deep on the weeds. But prior we to Ellen, we were not because it had been said to us and presented to us like that for so long. Exactly. And I've never met now him. And we're never on our own. Now, now we're, we're on, on our own. own. We are supported by Manscaped. Breaking news. This is an important PSA brought to you by Manscaped.com. This is your pubic service announcement. And the news you've all been waiting for, the Manscaped engineering team has confirmed they have successfully created the Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, which is now available for purchase in the USA and Canada. The new trimmer was just released only a few moments ago. We are one of the first to get our hands on it and share the news of your balls and your dick buried in a trough of hair. It's time to let them out. Let them see the great outdoors. Let them find a mouth or a butthole or something to go into unobstructed and ready to live their life. Get a fucking Manscaped. Listen, the optimized lawnmower 4.0 trimmer is waterproof. You can groom in the shower 
and not have to worry about making a mess on the bathroom floor. I know I'm going to get big points for that. Get 20% off and free worldwide shipping by going to manscaped.com slash bears. That's 20% off and free worldwide shipping by going to manscaped.com slash bears. Unlock your confidence and always use the right tools for the job with Manscaped. We are supported by Raycon. I have made mistakes recently. I took out a pair of earbuds from another manufacturer and I promptly took a hammer to them, smashed them into pieces and threw them on the ground because they are garbage. And the only ones that, I, that work for me are Raycons. I will never waver again. Whether you're listening to your favorite podcast or your best playlist, a pair of Raycon wireless earbuds in your ears can make all the difference. Crisp, powerful beats at half the price of other premium audio brands. Raycons look great and they feel even better. And that's what I'm most addicted to. Great sound and a great feel. They come in a huge range of colors with customizable gel tips included for a comfortable in-ear fit. Listen up. Raycon's offering 15% off all their products for my listeners and here's what you got to do to get it. Go to buyraycon.com slash bears. There you'll get 15% off your entire Raycon order. It's such a good deal. You'll want to grab a pair and a spare. That's 15% off at buyraycon.com slash bears. That's B-U-Y-R-A-Y-C-O-N.com slash bears. But you know, it's, it's crazy. It's, you don't want to, you don't want to make it 10 it's, minutes of your podcast. <laughs> 17. It's 17. Ah, 17. 17. And by the way, he's getting good press out of this. And yeah, everyone's yeah. learning how to say his name. And we right. love him. I, and really, I, I, I genuinely love him. His show on, uh, his show on uh, Netflix, I loved it. I loved it. I love good. It's like Schultz's show. You know, Schultz. Yeah. I love good presented material. That's it. They're producing it differently and they're doing, taking different chances and doing different shit. I love it. That's the difference between, you know, po- like the type of comedy I do is, especially on stage, is I write on stage. And and on podcasts, we're writing on the fly, so we're just trying to be funny in the moment. When you watch those scripted ones, God, they're fucking good, like real scripted. I could never do that. I think it would make me crazy. Like you, you know, to stay in this box and stay in this box and then present lines, like just present stuff. I like I like the I've always liked the the flow of it. You ever seen those comics that not those guys, but you ever seen the comics that you're like, no, the math adds up, but I'm not laughing. You're like, yes, I, I get that. I get you did your homework on how jokes are structured, but none of this feels like it's got any fucking cum in it. You know, like, yes, I, yes. Like you need, you need like, you ever fuck someone that just, just like didn't give it back to you. just kind of was like, like, yeah. And then you, and then you have sex with someone like first time I had sex with Leanne, I was like, this woman fucks. <laughs> I was like, she's fucking like, like she's trying to get me to buy her a pack of cigarettes <laughs> and burn her with them. Yeah, like she, <laughs> she just like, and to this day, you can get it out of her. You got to really kind of like, you know, it's not, it's not there all the time. But when, when it happens, Jesus Christ! I had a girl one time tell me, because I, I look, we're communicators. I, I don't know if you do it during sex too, but I talk the whole time during sex. Almost the whole time. I'm asking. I'm I'm saying shit. I'm talking shit. And I don't this talk girl, at all. really? I'm like I'm like I I act like I'm at the dentist. I just that's the only mind. time you shut up during sex and sleep. I will bet you talk in your fucking sleep, bro. I do talk in my sleep. I'm calling Leanne right now. That's the funniest thing I've ever fucking heard. That is the only the time you shut up. Fucking, is when you're fucking the fucking. I'm FaceTiming her right now. Holy shit, that is the funniest. Where, why haven't I had that fucking joke in my set? It's yours. Oh my God. Let's see if she's, she probably just got out of the shower. Oh, that'd be a good look. Yeah, you might want to screen that. Nope. She won't FaceTime me and show me nudes because I she caught me taking pictures of it. Oh, screen grabbing it while screen she's on Screen grabbing it quick as fuck. Well, I had a girl one time. I yeah, started talking shit and she fucking put a finger over my mouth and she said, shh. No talking for either of us. It, and so you asked me if I ever had a girl not give it back. Yeah, I, that was the worst. Wait, okay, hold on. The give silence. The whole scenario. The whole scenario. You're working the docks in Baltimore. Right? I'm not. Well, I was actually, this was years ago. I had gone home to uh, a Ravens game. I'm tailgating. I meet this new blonde girl in the group. <laughs> and, wait, 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 wait. Pull up. Pull up a picture of female Ravens fan. 
<laughs> in all fairness, that's let's, let's not gonna be what you think. But <laughs> let's see what this looks like. Okay, put in overweight. Yeah, they're, yeah. These girls are hot. These girls are fucking. They're smoking. hot. And she was a blonde, hot chick like one of these girls. And she had come in with the crew that Ooh. you know when you leave home and you go back and see your friends. Usually, there's new people that come into the group over twenty some years. It's so crazy. If you said, if you said, name. A, a sports team fan hit that blonde and brunette in the left there in the dive. Yeah. If you n name a sports team fan that you think talks during sex, I would go Raiders. Definitely. Chick. Like Raiders. girls, girls. No Raiders. doubt. Raiders. A Raiders chick. If you're Eagles, a fan of the Raiders, just oh, complaining. Probably just complaining oh, about says, mundane racial shit. slurs. <laughs> uh, I would say a Ravens fan. Definitely Ravens fan talks. Miami, sex. Miami fan. Yeah. Um, if you said, I bet like a Colts fan is very quiet during sex. I Colts mean, Green fan. Bay is probably quiet during sex. Denver Broncos. Denver. Yeah, Denver. <laughs> are we just picking cities that have, uh, we're just picking cities that have, that have more ethnic people in them and going, they talk. Yeah. Uh, a, a Falcons fan probably talks during sex <laughs> as opposed to a, um, <laughs> As opposed to like an Arizona Cardinals fan or a Chargers or fan, Chargers fan would be good. 49er fan, 49er fan. 49er fan. <laughs> this is horrible. So wait, so wait, go back. So, so you and her are sucking back Bud Light ices. So we're, yeah, we're tailgating. We get to meet. We're sucking down the Coors Lights. And, she's smoking uh, Virginia Slims. She's not a smoker. Okay. Drinker. Oh, yes, she is. Um, I'm smoking weed, drinking beer. She's drinking. Oh, I can't wait to drink today. We get to meet. She's like, I want to come out and hang out. Um, and I was like, great. And then she does. And we have sex. And so it was me, finger. Start, 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 start me at the beginning. You guys are kissing in the living room? God. Probably. I, mean, I don't even know how sex works. Like, how does sex work for regular people? Do you kiss in the living room and then make your way to the bedroom? <laughs> I mean, if you have a living room, I guess you could. But <laughs> why you could be out at a in the old days prior yeah. to current. You go to a bar, or you hang out. You have a few, and then you just go home. There's no like real living room setting first. Maybe if they come over for dinner or something, sure. But. Most of the time, you're out hanging out, having some fun, and you go home and you fuck. That's just so when it. you go home, do you like kiss at the door and then fall into the apartment? The, this, I, I, all I do is go kiss hey, at the door and fall in the apartment, like a movie. Listen, these girls want you to choke them, spit in their mouth, <laughs> fucking slap their titties. These I'm, are not. I've spit a girl's <laughs> mouth before. <laughs> these are not take you and fucking whisk me away. Shit. I spit in a girl's <laughs> mouth at an age you'd be shocked at. At an age, you'd say, shut Wait, up and trust her yours. Both of our ages. <laughs> I, w I was like 17 years. It just caught me off guard. She was like, spit in my mouth. And I was like, I, I mean, I barely fucked. I'd fucked like three times. Once. Maybe once. Yeah, that's a hell of a jump from, I from went, virginity to spitting in my mouth. <laughs> spit in my mouth. Oh, you want to see a picture of her? Yeah, I do. Right now, she knows I'm talking about her. <laughs> She, it's the only girl that's ever said that to me. Spit in my mouth, and and by the way, that's definitely something that girl that dressed like Christina would absolutely say to you during. We said, "What wouldn't you say?" That's on oh, the list of being said. Yeah, she is still fucking hot. Yeah, she that is. girl loves her mouth spat in for sure. For okay. sure. Hold on, I want to. I don't want to show you a picture of her kids. And no judgment. I'm whatever you're into. This I'm into it too. Part. Kids are beautiful. Just kids. shit's the only thing. I'm shit's the only thing really and pissed that I'm not into. A little bit of blood, but not like Jason Ellis telling me about the chick that cuts them while they fuck and then sucks it and all spits right. it all over. This I'm like, her. huh? This is her. Oh yeah. Oh, That's Jesus her as an adult. So what age was it? I was seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah. And Caught. she said it at seventeen. Yeah. Man, God bless fucking caught me off guard i don't care how many times i'm used i've heard it at what that one always catches me off guard and then the next chick i was with i was like i guess chick, bitch, is this like you to spit in their mouth <laughs> can you if, uh, <laughs> if you go back to back on girls that like it then the third one does it man you're in a war that's assault it's a <laughs> it goes from fucking sexual shit to assault. 
for a second. It is not Wait, you're fault. not into that? It's Wait, you're not into that? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. No, no, no. I've been with two women for my whole life for five years. They both were into it. I'm sorry. It's a new your mouth. You're up on assault charge. It's even funnier if she doesn't say anything, but the next one brings it up to her. Did he spit your mouth? That would ruin your sex game. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, my God. Mm. 26 minutes. I love it. This is fucking... I can't be around you like this. <laughs> yes. Yeah, spit in your mouth. So, we get me back to this girl. So, you're... This she's girl a, was the opposite of all the girls wearing I like. Ra- wearing a Ravens jersey? <sighs> Not when she came out, but at the tailgate for sure. God. I had my Ed Reed on, jersey on. That usually gets them, you know, the black one, the alternate jersey. Not even, I don't wear the purple. Do a, what's the, I forget what a Baltimore accent is. No, let me, let me, run, let me f- see if I can okay. find it, okay? Yeah. Ba- ba- Baltimore. Bur- Baltimore. Real guy. What? Hey, no, hold on, hold on. I gotta find it. I gotta oh, find it. Do you think, do you think brilliant actors just get there? They gotta work their way yeah, up you're there. you're right, you're right. Baltimore. Baltimore. <laughs> Baltimore. E. A. Baltimore. Baltimore. Nice Ed Reed jersey. That's not terrible yeah i got it i mean the axe the baltimore accent is terrible the baltimore accent. your version of it is the baltimore accent is is i have a pivot on that but i want to hear this story remind me to talk about keep going there's not much more to it it's we you know she's got a banging body we i get her naked and your first words out of your mouth are I don't remember my first words, but I just like to talk what, what, the whole time. Would, I'm probably complimenting her and like, you got a great ass. You know, you look fantastic. You naked, look educated. You know, you're smart. As she was. She was smart. She had a great job. Owned you're her so own out of my home, league. <laughs> all that shit. I'm like, I'm fucking way out of my league. And then, you know, I, I like I said, I like to talk shit. And she just put her finger over my mouth and said, shh. And I was like, okay. For a second, I'm like, oh, okay, okay. And then she's like, no talking and i was like what the entire time I, I that's what i said the entire time yeah. she's like mm-hmm, no talking and then it's the only time in my life i've ever fucked in silence and it was awful i love it it was awful i love it <laughs> it is leanne leanne talks leanne will talk okay well that's at least someone is doing something and saying something that makes you feel like you're part of this i could not talk at all i've, I've had sex with not speaking at all yeah, that's gross. Really? Yes, it's gross. It's I'd like, rather not like, have sex than fuck with no talking. I, I definitely would rather have silent sex. I love silent sex. I, I've had lots of silent sex. I've had talking sex, but not all sex is worthy of a conversation. Some sex. I'm is not just, talking about necessary conversations. Uh, we're not talking about like global warming while I'm eating your pussy. I'm talking about like. You know, do you like that? How's that feel? Yeah, Leanne talks during a blowjob. You know. <laughs> What's that? I said the constitutional <laughs> amendment of. Oh, news, go back to talking my dick. <laughs> I like to read during sex. <laughs> read. I go down on her and I put a book up here and I just, uh, just lick it under the book. The uh, okay. Here's my question. We're talking about Baltimore mm-hmm. cities that are bigger than their state. Baltimore is bigger than Maryland. Meaning, I, meaning like uh, if, yeah. if you went, if you went to, if you went to, I feel like LA and San Francisco, you could say the same about this big ass state of California too. Almost. Uh, I, I don't know. That's like saying uh, you can't because Phoenix is bigger than Arizona. No, because more people claim California West though. Like, yeah, little, you're right. like, so like, you look at a city like Indianapolis is bigger than Indiana. Yes. Like it's it when people go my point is if you go to Cape Town, say that South Africa, and you say to someone, um, real quick, I'm j i am I use Cape Town as an example because I'm just saying I'm looking for a place that is like a far away country that where maybe people don't know a lot about the United States. It's Cape Town was a bad fucking example. But um you go to like uh the Ukraine. That's a bad example. Whatever. You know I'm gonna offend someone in this. You go to like where where Borat grew up, and you go, "Hey, tell us, give me five states." You know that they'd probably go, "Okay." If you give fifty states, they'd go, "Okay." They'd put name like Baltimore as a state, Boston as a state. Sure. Boston's bigger than Massachusetts. I think St. Louis is bigger than Missouri. St. Louis is bigger, so much bigger than Missouri. Like where you go, you mean St. Louis? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Indianapolis. Agreed. I remember thinking Indian. I remember going to Indianapolis and going, "It's in Indiana." 
And they're like, it's called Indianapolis. <laughs> and I went, that's so funny. I thought it was in Baltimore. <laughs> that's Annapolis. That's, what I, that's, that's the state capital of Maryland, Annapolis. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Annapolis. Annapolis. It's beautiful. Maryland's it's a, where the Naval Academy is. It's all, it's gorgeous. If you had to join one part of the, one part of the military. Navy. Oh, hold on. One part of the military to make you a better man. And then one part of the military that you think would be the best fit for you. Which would you pick? All right, better man, I'd go Navy. I'd like to say the best fit for me would be, look, I'll be honest. I'm not man enough to be a Marine. I don't want to be the first one in on anything. I'll go Army. I want to be the first one in during sex. Yeah, during sex. <laughs> during a, during an orgy, I definitely am a Marine. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I don't want to. I don't want to be. I'm on, the, I'm on the. I'm on the inflatable raft up front. If uh, I'm normally, nor an orgy. normally I'm the Army Corps of Engineers, where I stay there forever. <laughs> is yeah. that, that made, by the way, that's a good joke if those were accurate. Like I don't know the in a relationship. I'm a Marine. I like to be the first one in, first one out, first one in, last one out. First one in, first one out. You know, but I like the last to leave, one out. There's but I like to leave my men behind. You know. <laughs> God, I'm killing it tonight. I'm so much better without Tom. <laughs> what uh so wait i could could you be a marine how hard no. is boot camp type in boot no, camp i couldn't be a marine no could you Ma be boot back camp? when i was 17 or 18 um oh see that's when i couldn't have done it i'm saying, now i could do it I, I don't know if i i don't know man the marines are special all of look first of all all military is look if if the, I, I don't care what chris rock said i don't give a fuck if you got Tanks rolling down the 405. Why wouldn't you let gays and Trent go? Yeah. Get the fuck in there. Oh, if you want to join the military, I want to help all, us. I got help. your back. I think everyone should be in it. I don't give a fuck. But like, I, I couldn't do I listen to Jocko. I'm fucking this guy's name up, by the way. Talking about it's fucking. Been a, it's a theme on this. Jocko episode. Wilnink. I've, I listen to his book and his podcast. And he talks to these dudes that like, they're, I mean, the shit they've seen. That's what I'm saying. The stuff they've the seen. I've heard, I've had friends of mine tell me about letters they've read at the, they go visit a friend of theirs at the uh, memorial in Vietnam or whatever. And I guess people leave letters and things like, and there was one that they read about just a guy and an, it was him and another guy literally sitting and their, their um, guys in their troop had been captured by the Vietnamese and they're being, listening to them being tortured, tortured. And they can't do anything about it because if they come out, they're dead too. And they're just sitting there listening and waiting for their turn. And it's just this brutal fucking story. Yeah. I got to say a prayer. Like brutal that, I hear, stories. See, here's the thing. The things these men and women have seen. And that's, like, that's what fuck I, that. That's where I fucking. That's where I, I. Thank you to anyone out there in the military. Thank you to anyone. Yeah. I had to find my camera. It's dark over there. Yeah, thank you for anyone that served. But thank you for everyone that served in the military. Obviously, that goes without saying for me too. But when you think, like I listened to Jocko talk to this dude. It's like a, he's a regular guy. Like you, I, I, I got on the podcast and it's a regular guy. Like a regular guy. And he tells his story of killing a dude with a rock. And and it, and it's just, he's it's almost like I'm telling you about like, uh, like just he's just fucking cat like what i had for lunch and he's just like is is a little detached from it but he's there you can tell his feelings are there and you're sitting there going like i haven't witnessed anything in life i haven't witnessed anything in life and now if you talk about joining the marines could i have done it as a kid easily i would have joined it and i would have quit i would have i would have definitely have quit out i would have yeah. gotten kicked out pretty quick Kreischer, is that ice cream on your outfit <laughs> sure yes it's sir it's yogurt it's yogurt sir <laughs> I bet there are donuts in your bunk. I wouldn't check, sir. Um, but I, I now as an adult, I think I would look at something like boot camp as like a legit. I think I would find the the uh, worth in it as an adult. Mm -hmm. As a kid, I, I bet that's what's crazy to me as an 18 year old kid. I bet it's easier to do, but I bet I would quit or get kicked out so easily. But as an adult, I would look at it and go. Oh, this is this turns you into a better person. It's a little late for me, but it turns you into a better person. I would love to do like the, and I know I couldn't do it. I'm, I'm saying, you know, I would try. I'd love to do Navy SEAL training, like where they sit and the, you just they did it to do they did it to the um, men's polo team, the water polo team. I watched the video, and just having someone tell you 
what to do triggers me hardcore. Oh, yeah, and screaming in your face and shit. Yeah. I um Buds. Is that what basic underwater demolition? Yeah. Buds. I'll say this. Seems you, a lot friendlier. You said than it two is. things. I don't think I could be in the military. But you talked about that guy bashing someone's killing someone with a rock. And I apologize if that isn't exactly what he did, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Either yeah. way. Yeah. I what I do possess in me is the ability to if I had to if I was in that situation and it was life or death. I could absolutely disconnect and take a rock and just bash somebody's fucking brains in if I had to. That separate from wanting to go in the military. I'm talking about true survival. If I had to do that, Ooh. I could do that. See, I just started boxing recently and I didn't realize how little I could defend my person. Like I thought I was thought yeah, like, I used I've, to box. I've talked shit to people, been like, Well, what's up? And then I I didn't realize that if anyone in my life had ever said, oh, this is what up, I would have then been like, oh, I don't know what to do with these things. <laughs> like, I... I <coughs> Wait, you've never been in a fight? I've been in fights. I've just been beaten up, mostly. You've never won? Uh, Not one fight? I mean, if you can't You're defeated? I'm, I, well... Kind. I got beat up by a woman one time. I got I beat up by a woman at a Hank Jr.'s concert. That. I've been... <laughs> I got stomped by a woman. <laughs> what happened? Fucking hot woman too. At Hank Williams Jr. Hank Williams I went Jr. And saw him live at the Sun Dome. I won't say names because this gets a little hairy in in the culture that we're living in. But we're at a Hank Williams Jr. concert, and then and our fr it's me and like four or five dudes. We're all in high school. Maybe we're seventeen. I'm guessing maybe eighteen, but we're drunk. We're drunk as fuck, and we're just singing the songs. I don't even remember how it started. But these legit rednecks are in front of us, and they didn't like something. I was always the guy that was with the group of guys that were starting shit. I was oblivious to the. I am very naive. I am. I am truly a very naive person. And uh, all of a sudden, like people start talking shit, and I'm just like standing up, like going, you know, the more bodies, the scarier we look. And we're, these guys are bigger than us. They have cowboy hats, and they're talking shit. And one of the guys like throws at my buddy, and then they start going. And I like go like this, and this woman <laughs> comes from out of fucking nowhere, jacks me, and then puts me between like a row of things. So I'm she like, punched you, pu knocked me down, like she fucking <laughs> leveled me. And she's like, she's like, like on top of me, and I'm between, like you know when you fall on the ground where all the peanuts. I'm, I got like beer on my back, and I'm like, oh, my arms are jammed. I can't punch her, and she's just beating the fuck out of me. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I can survive. <laughs> You're just getting stomped, and he's up there singing. I've never wanted a woman to be hit, but god damn it, man. <laughs> Somebody get this bitch off me. <laughs> I wanted Ray Rice just to come out of nowhere. Oh just been like, what did you say, bitch? And I got the fucking shit kicked out of me by this woman. And then everyone was, you know, we get in the car, we get in a, we had a station wagon, we were all in partying, and we get done the concert, and they're like, fuck them, fuck them. They're like, bro, did you hit anyone? I was like, I fucked this person up. And they're like, which one? Fuck my and I was, like, I was like, the guy, the, the guy with the hat. And they're like, well, I fought him. And I was like, the other guy. And they're like, well, how many were there? And I was like, there's so many, man. I don't even want to tell the story. <laughs> the one with tits. The one with tits. The hot one with the fucking de sloppy decolletage. <laughs> This episode is brought to you by our partner, Whoop. You need to know what's going on in your body, how your behaviors, your habits, whatever you're doing is affecting it. And the only way to do it is to wear a Whoop and you get personalized insight. You know how what you're eating, what you're drinking. Are you drinking booze? Are you smoking weed? Are you not sleeping enough? This thing keeps all that data. It's like having, it's like the stock market, like a portfolio, but it's about your body and you get all the little details and it's fascinating. You can see how your behavior is actually affecting your body. You can see how when you don't sleep, you're not able to put as much strain on it. You can see that, hey, you turn on the sleep coach and it tells you, you need to go to bed at this time. It's absolutely fascinating stuff and it's all about you. For our listeners today, if you've been thinking about giving Whoop a shot, there's no better time than today. You can save 15% off a Whoop with the code BEARS. Go to Whoop, W-H-O-O-P.com. Use code BEARS at checkout to save yourself 15% off today. Know yourself with personalized recovery strain and sleep insights from Whoop. We are supported by public.com. The stock market is made for public trading, so it should be more accessible for everyone. That's why we joined 
public.com, the investing social network where you can buy stocks for any amount of money and share ideas with a community of investors. It's really cool, super easy to use. And the cool thing is you, you can communicate with other people that are trying to do the same thing as you, where they're interested in investing, sharing ideas. You can see other people's portfolios. You can get into a conversation like, what do you think is going on with the gold today? Whatever you want to talk about with them, you can talk about, you can share insight, you can learn more um, by having this open forum to talk about things. The app is free to use. There's no amount minimum to get started. With fractional investing, you can buy slices of stocks at any amount versus the full shares. You can get started with as little as $1. You're connected with other people at public.com. You're never investing alone. Very cool community feel to the whole thing. Go to public.com slash two bears to follow me on public.com and see what I'm investing in. You can start investing today with as little as $1. You can get a free slice of stock when you join. Just go to public.com slash the number two, the word bears, two bears, to download the public.com app. Valid for U.S. residents 18 and over. Subject to account approval. See public.com slash disclosures, not investment advice. Yeah, I've fucking got I've been I've been beaten up a few times. I, by the way, that's why I'm a comedian. I, I don't understand. Like I've been in so many fights, so many. So many. Like how many? I, at least a dozen or more. It's easy. Maryland's a very angry place. I've been in a lot of fist fights in my life growing up. Type in I've, most educated states and see where Maryland falls on this. Oh, Keep God. going. Because parts of Maryland are pretty well, you high got end. Hopkins and you got... So uh, t- take me back to some good fist fights. You want to hear the craziest fight I've ever seen in my life? At Preakness. This is like fucking scary shit. I want to hear about this more than I want to hear about my wife's day. Maryland's <laughs> number two. All right. Number two? Most educated state. Wow. What I did not no, see that guess. coming. No, hell no. Hold is that on. from what year All right, is that? Do not from? show us 50. Do not give me the bottom okay. five educated states. All right. Bottom fucking five educated Florida, states. Florida. Florida. Oh, oh, no, no. I actually know one. I won't say it out loud because I don't want it to sound like a hate crime because I like this place, but everyone shits on it. Last one's Mississippi. Okay. The, Mississippi, number, the last one's, and I like Mississippi. I'm going to throw Alaska in only because of uh, Ooh, the amount of people in there. And so shit. intelligent. Yeah, I think that one is in there. Alaska. What do we say? Mississippi, Mississippi's Florida. Last. Florida's in there. Uh, I'll go Alabama. With, okay. And then I'm going to throw like a remote, like maybe a South Dakota. Ooh. That's my wild card. The answers are Alabama. West Virginia, how we missed it. Arkansas, Louisiana. That's <laughs> all, all that pocket. Right? Yeah, Jesus Christ. That's all almost, the states that touch you. That's <laughs> actually a hate crime when you look at it. That's a hate crime against white people. But the just last look up states, one more. It's the fucking, <laughs> just look at this. I, it's, it's, it's South Carolina, Nevada, Oklahoma, Kentucky, Alabama, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, West, West Virginia. West last. Type in, I bet if you put in I bet those are equi um, distant. Equi- I bet they're uh, adjacent to uh, states with the worst dental plans. That's fair. That's fair. By the way, Teeth I think I think fucking knowledge. put down. I think t- dentists are quacks. Okay, I think dentists are fucking bill jacking quacks. They I are. think dentistry is overrated. I don't think dentists bet- are like mechanics for your mouth, and they just overshoot you on everything, bro. Yeah, d- dentists are fuck. They don't even do the work anymore. I go to the dentist twice a year. I want to hear about this fist fight. You're but going let's to. talk about dentistry. But the, 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 what do you call it? The hygienist does everything. The dentist comes in and goes, yeah, okay, yep, all right, looks good. And he leaves. I'm a, so I tell her every time, like, why, 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 you're qualified to do what he just did. Yeah. You know, it used to be just getting your teeth cleaned. When I was a kid, it was just getting your teeth cleaned. Now you go in and they're like, you need this, you need this. It's all about the upsell. You grind your teeth at night. You're like, I don't know. I'm asleep. How the fuck would I know? That's what, what I they mean? say to me all the time. Do you grind your teeth? I'm like, shouldn't you be able to tell? Yeah. Wouldn't there be some wear in there? Wouldn't I be complaining about my jaw or headache or something in the morning if I grind my teeth? My dentist said to me the other day, he goes, uh, you water pick? And I went, yeah. He goes, don't brush a lot, do you? I said, why water pick? And he goes, it's not the same. I went, wait, how did you know? And he goes, I can tell. I'm a dentist. And I was like, bullshit. I called my wife. I go, you tell him that I didn't brush my teeth. <laughs> she goes, no, I told him you water pick. I go, that motherfucker. He, he fucking, he, my wife said something's wrong with the car. Yeah. Now it's making this noise. Yeah. yeah. And, he, and he just comes in and did a magic trick to me. I bet. Type in. By the way, do you get nitrous at the dentist? 
No, he wouldn't even give it to me. Okay, last time I went for a cleaning, I just, the girl was so nice. I just randomly go, hey, am I allowed to get nitrous? She goes, oh, you want nitrous? I go, well, you just said it like we're about to party. She goes, oh my God, it's the greatest thing ever. I, 40, I'm 48 now. First time in my life I ever had nitrous. Best time I've ever had it. Listen, I'm usually very good at that. I'll fall asleep in the chair when they clean no. my mouth. I'm good. My teeth are good. But I'd never had nitrous. And she's like, I could put you up to a five. I'm like, bump that up. And I was like, I still don't feel it. And she's like, are you serious? And she bumped it up. And I was like, oh, my God. I started laughing. I was like, oh, here we go. This is, yeah. Uh, you yeah. just created the new Two Bears, One Cave Ryan Sickler Challenge. <laughs> Gentlemen and ladies, see if you can put your finger in your spouse's mouth while they sleep and get a picture. <laughs> And then Please. send it to us. That's the Two Bears, One Cave, Ryan Sickler Challenge. Can you get a finger in their mouth while they're sleeping and a picture, like a selfie? <laughs> and a selfie. That's going to be selfie. tough. selfie. That's going to be tough. That's going to be I'm tough. I'm trying it this weekend. I'm trying to, we're camping. I'm just going to put my finger in her mouth. How did we get there? Are you being serious? Nadab. So Ryan just says he can fall asleep in the dentist's office. And I was like, <laughs> no, you, I could not fall asleep with someone's fingers in my mouth. I like I, I definitely time in the dentist could not fall asleep like. with someone's fingers in my mouth. Let alone if a finger was in my mouth, I think it will wake me up. However, for Ryan Sickler, it does not wake him up. So here's the challenge. All right. I see the connection now. <laughs> you see it? Yeah. By the way, the, I have a joke that I won't say. I have a joke that I won't say. God damn it. Man, when we first started podcasting, you could say anything. Yeah, you could say anything. You could say, I mean, I'm sure that's going to come up. Bite us in the ass one day. But, uh, the, the, but like, God damn it. I miss those days a little bit. Not a lot. I think the, I th I'll tell you the one thing I will say. A little bit of self-awareness is not a bad idea. No. No. Growing as a person I'm is not a bad idea. I'm already regretting two things I said on this podcast. <laughs> the first 17 minutes. I got a text from. I got a text. <laughs> you I got almost a, called Kamal Gianni at uh, nine o'clock in the morning to say, "How do you say your name?" Do you realize <laughs> how bad that looks? That I that that was a thought. I had that was a thought. See, I can't take back that thought. And I go, I, and I don't want to edit it out because I do think it's fucking. It made me laugh so hard. Oh god! But I, but I go, why would you think that? Like, why would you? What's wrong with your thinking? Like thinking, my thinking is off. Like if I say, oh, I'm not going to do it. It's but let bad. me just say this. This is where I fall into this whole racism, everything. Like, I don't think anything that we said was racist. No. Okay? Well, they're, first of all. Ignorant. Oh, yeah. Is, is different than racist. Every, I, I feel like everything today is thrown into racism. That's racism. Well, sometimes I'm just ignorant about cultures or, or even things that I don't know about. It doesn't have to be a person or a culture. It's just. I don't know about cars. I'm ignorant. That's a yep. that's a transmission. You know, I can't. When I grew up, we called a transmission a tranny. I can't even say that anymore. Yeah, can't. Well, even, I can't even say that anymore. I uh, can yeah. only say that like at a junkyard or at an auto dealership. <laughs> that's it. I can't say that on any two of other places if I'm talking about it. <laughs> Anywhere else, I'm an asshole. I had, I had someone say to me. They were talking about woke. I've, I know I've, I'm certain I've said this somewhere. Someone goes, um, you know, it's good that, you know, we're getting some words out of our language, like the R word. And I was like, which, which one's that? And they're like, wait, what do you think the R word was? And I go, Redskin. And they're like, <laughs> no. <That's> <laughs> and I, because we said that, and I was like, wait, are you talking about, oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. Like, but I like, I like, I'm just, it, there's like, but there's the other part of it is like, I'm not worried because I, think that both those guys know us and they know we're comics and they know we're trying to have fun. They're not going to get outraged. They're not. No, but like, there's but nothing you, we said bad about them. It's all about us. Yeah, we're about the idiots. Us. I'm the fucking idiot. I almost FaceTimed him. You did. FaceTimed him. You did. FaceTimed him. Back to your fist fight. All right. Craziest fight I've ever seen, been a part of. Um, if you know about Preakness, Preakness is the second leg of the Triple Crown, the horse race in Baltimore, right? I love this story so much. And... Um, You've got the the Kentucky Derby and their hats and their drinks and 
then you come up to Baltimore and you got like it's in it's in a neighborhood that you would not go to unless you were going to the horse track. Okay. What Pre- are you looking up? What are you looking up? Triple Crown? Baltimore, that's a street. That's a street. Triple Crown. No, 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 no. That's a triple crown. Leave it off. <laughs> You are going to be so amazed when you see the real Triple Crown. You're going to be like, this isn't <laughs> Triple Town Court in Baltimore, Maryland. <laughs> That's someone's real That's someone's house. real house. <laughs> this is the Triple Crown. It's a horse race. Second leg of the Triple Crown. Triple Crown is the Kentucky Derby, Preakness, and then the Belmont Stakes, right? That's if you win those three, that's American Pharaoh finally did it. You know, that's your Triple Crown. What so, are you, Pete Rose? How do you know all this? Um, well, we go to the set. The second leg is in Baltimore. It's the okay. Preakness, right? Okay. So you know coming into Preakness who already won the Derby, and it's a fun day. You go down, but you get on a school bus at like 8 o'clock in the morning. And you pay a you know premium for kegs in the back. Oh, I and thought everything. you were talking about you as a child. Like no, you go, we get on a school bus, and I'm like, they take no, you to man. the Preakness. Adults, right? adults are getting on a in school our twenties, yeah. renting a school bus, a shitload of us love rent like it. three school buses. That's how many of us are rolling oh, deep. I love this. And then you get the kegs on, whatever. And this it's, is why I'll never quit drinking. This is this this story right here is so romantic to me. I figured you would like this. That's how the day starts. Oh, okay. okay. Start. Let's start it backwards. Like, I want to know everything. So I, Get up at like 6.30 I in want the morning, to hear, I could shower, write, I want to write a book. Breakfast. I want to write a book, a, a collection of stories of great day drinking events that comedians have had. And this, this I've is, had a bunch of these, but this is the wildest of all of these. So you get up at what time for this? Probably like 6.30. Oh, I love an alarm that's waking you up to drink. To get breakfast, and then you you, you gotta, get to the bus. Big heavy breakfast. You gotta have a sturdy you have breakfast. To, yeah, because you don't know what's. Listen, the Preakness, the actual main race. So they sell these shirts at the end of the that say horses. There were horses there because people just get fucked up. I bet. Okay, they pack a hundred thousand people in that infield. A hundred thousand. Okay, where we sit these days, it's in the grandstands. Back then, it was a hundred thousand of us on the infield. And prior to that, so, all right, so we get on the bus. What time? Like 7.30, 8 o'clock. No cocktail before the bus. Cocktail, first cocktail on the bus. First cocktail on the bus. Maybe a joint before. Oh. Settle yourself down. A little wake and bake. And then, boom, drink the bus. And you're drinking the whole ride down. You're just pumping the keg. Everybody's, oh, what's kind of What kind of beer? No one cares? No one cares what kind of beer? I love it. I love it. Because you're going all day long. Red Solo Cups? Red Solo Cups. Sunglasses? Sunglasses. What kind of shirt are you wearing? Let you it's hot and you're going to be there all day so you're wearing in the morning it's chilly so you got maybe a little hoodie a t-shirt some sweats but jeans? shorts under it jeans no because you're going to take those fucking things okay, off so you're in shorts some sweats with shorts under it okay so okay. then when you you get off the bus you just a hoodie you're never going to see again yeah, i love this i you love this I mean? you're getting rid of clothes clothes behind we yes. used to do yes. that at, we used to do that at uh at, at, at mardi gras yeah where we take exactly. we'd put on an outfit that had like four layers and we knew we were going to lose parts of it by the day, by the end of the day, that's that outfit is gone. God, or as they it. say in Baltimore, gone, gone. So, uh, we're on the bus. We go down. You get, you know, there's a big bus lot. You park, and then you have to go through the. This is, you know, remember, this is twenty some years ago, twenty five years ago. You got to go through the ticket stall, like the thing. But back then, if a woman talked back, you could hit her. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> what we used to do, and they Joking. would allow you. Is uh the you know the recycle trash cans you have here with the wheels? Mm-hmm. We would fill that with beer, and we would just wheel it with us everywhere we went all day long. Here's a beer for a joint. Here's a this for that. You're making friends everywhere. You you know if if forty people go on your bus and there's a hundred of you total, you're there's no way everyone's staying together. Once you get there, it's all right. Now let's get to our micro crew, and we'll run around. We'll meet girls. We'll whatever. Yeah. We're gonna have a good time. Uh, we'll slip up, maybe make some bets, put a little trifecta on this. I maybe, love, I maybe love a, ten bucks on a long shot, just shit like that to have fun. Because there's races, the 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 main race, that Preakness race, isn't until the end of the fucking day. It's like four or five o'clock. But you've been there since eight a.m. and you are shit faced. And depending on who you are, our crew's got shrooms, guys are tripping on acid, whatever you want. We've got the weed in there now, whatever, right? So. We're in there, we're partying, and if you actually, Nadav, if you don't mind, look up uh, the running of the urinals, 
Um, it's a thing uh, at pre. I know what this is. You know what it is. I know what this is. So my Where buddy you get on the top and try to run they across. They sprint all the, across, yeah. and people take unopened beers and throw them at. You. Yeah, there, and they kill you. Kill and, you. And this is the, the Preakness. This is at the Preakness. This yes. is fucking brilliant. Yes. And by the way, that's the TV show I want to do. <laughs> Like, if you're asking Travel Channel, would you like to get back into television? I do. This. And I want to only do shit like running of the urinals. Keep going. By the way, this podcast, I do not want this podcast to end. This is so fucking fascinating to me. You have no idea how excited my first beer is going to be today. I'm, I'm all lo looking forward to it. Keep going. Well, a good friend of mine um, is an electrician at Preakness. And after this running of the urinals a couple years, they're like, bro. They made him, he physically had to go separate the urinal so that you couldn't run across them anymore. Like, they, no one thought of that for a few <laughs> years. Like, and maybe if we just put them 10 feet apart, five feet apart, they can't do it anymore. So he had to do that, unfortunately, he ended the running of the urinals. But, um, so we're drinking, we're getting fucked up as always. That is standard. You're just getting annihilated. Then you, then you have to fucking, someone's got to be sober enough to remember your bus number and where the fuck it parked in the lot, okay? But we're not the only... It's a sea of buses. People from all over the state and wherever are renting buses, right? And they're doing the same thing we're doing. Getting fucked up from the moment they wake up until the moment they get back on that bus. And now, the moment to get back on the bus is here. And we all start heading out. Now, in my group, the people I'm most concerned with are me, my two brothers, and my two cousins, a couple close friends. Outside of that, I don't give a fuck what happens to anybody else. So we're parked, and it's a row of buses. We're in this bus. We're facing this way like this. There's a bus right here to our left, okay? We don't know any of those people. But that bus is packed. And as we're slowly getting on our bus, you know, there might be six people, eight people. They're slowly coming in. There's a dozen. I'm watching this bus over here, and this bus is packed. And here comes this guy and girl that know these people. They're friends with these people. And they walk into the bus. And I don't know what's said. I don't know what happened. But the bus, the, the, all the people got up at one time, like almost like there was, is, is an animal. And it, they grabbed this guy. They fucked him up. I mean, they are beating this guy. And I'm just, we're all in our bus like, holy shit. And they are killing this like guy. Like a pirate ship? Like They're all of a sudden he him. The bus swung is over and he was the only one that was there? You don't there. see him anymore. You just see people doing this. And then they throw him out of the bus door down, you know, those wicked stairs. Oh, he goes down on his face. And here comes his girlfriend right behind him. And I was like, oh, all right, we're not. Don't look at them. Don't talk to them. They just beat up a woman. And threw her on top of the guy that kicked his ass first. Like, don't fuck with these people. Shut up. So, but, but we're as close as we are. Their bus windows are, you know, that bus window you pinch and pull. We're right here. This close. You know I'm going to need closure on this story. Bro, so they start looking at us. And then they start spitting at our windows. The fuck you the poo. Do, do. So we're just, we're just shutting up and putting <laughs> the windows up. <laughs> we're just shutting up. I'm like, don't fight back. Just put the windows up. Just put them up. <laughs> But there's this one kid, and I'm not going to say his full name. His name was Joe. And Joe never liked me, and I never cared for him, but only because he didn't like me. I had no beef against the guy. He just didn't like me. But he was a loud mouth punk, and he started running his mouth. And we're like, bro, shut the fuck up. Shut up. They're going to, they just, they just killed two. That was probably his sister. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Like, they don't care. They don't even know us. Did you just see what they did? Animals. Bro. This guy keeps running his mouth. And I go, get the fuck off the bus then. If you're a man, you go over there and deal with that shit. This guy gets off the fucking bus. Okay? Now, more people are on our bus. Maybe 20, 25 people. <laughs> but this bus is packed. Door. And we're, we're bus locked. We can't get out. Oh, no matter yeah. what. We're waiting. A couple buses ahead of us got to go before we go anywhere. So we're stuck. And we're the last in the line. And they're the last. Or, I mean, one behind us. So... Joe gets off the bus and he walks over and he starts running his mouth under the windows. They're like, get the fuck up here and say that shit to our face. And I'm like, come up the bus, bro. <laughs> and he gets on the bus. He gets on the bus and he's at the front of the bus where the driver sits. And they're like, why don't you come on back here? And we're just like, oh my God. And he does. He walks all the way back. And I mean, three quarters of the way back in that bus. And once he's deep enough, they surround him and they beat the <laughs> fuck out of him. Listen. I don't know. How else did I think it 
think it was gonna happen. <laughs> they beat the fuck out of him, okay? He walked on there with clothes. <laughs> When they threw him off, all he had on was a pair of shorts. There was shoes, socks, and the shirt were gone. Okay? They beat him naked. He got up, and his nose was pushed to the side of his face oh. over here. Okay? They beat him bad. I I'll never forget watching. It was a Ravens, like, Monday night game where Haloti Nada hit Roethlisberger in the helmet, and it broke his nose. It pushed his nose over here. They showed it on TV, like, how far over it was. This dude's nose was like over here. I'm not kidding you. And oh he's on God. the ground and he's out. He's done. And now they get off the fucking bus and here they come. And they are fucking bashing our windows, spitting, punching. They're trying to get on our bus. Shit is going crazy. And this dude is laying what I think is dead. And I feel fucking horrible. So I'm like, somebody's got to get him. Now we've got this big black lady as our bus driver and she is not having it. She's like, oh my Oh, hell no. Oh, they spitting. They spitting. You're not. And that's the favorite line I'll never forget. She goes, y'all ain't getting your security deposit back. That's what she said while our bus is getting rocked. And they are fucking smashing the windows. They're cracking the windshield. It is mayhem. Now, I'm on the bus. My two brothers are on the bus. One cousin's on the bus. My other cousin, Gary, is also deaf, okay? Oh, shut up. So, <laughs> he is. He's like, this is a movie. Like, this is a movie. This is a movie. I think this is a fucking movie with Sandra, with Sandra Bullock with the fucking see no evil. He's just out there with a corn dog. You're like over here. And he's like, I got you. He is. He's deaf as shit. Ninety oh percent deaf. And he's taking his time. He's coming back drinking his beer. But we're all remember we're fucked up. We have been drinking. Does he all talk day. like a deaf person? Oh yeah, a little okay. bit. He can't say Jimi Hendrix. He can't. He says Jimi Hendel. That's how okay. he pronounces okay. it, okay? Yeah. By the way, deaf people have the best laugh in the world. The best laugh. Because they don't know what they sound like. So they just like, it sounds like they're stomping pigeons. Just, <laughs> it's the best laugh. It is the best. And by the Coming way, my, from the two of us. Oh, right by the way, right. I went to, I had deep dish pizza with two deaf people once. And I forgot that they were fans of mine. And we, in Chicago, and I was telling jokes. And they're howling laughing in a restaurant. And it was, it was like I was molesting them. They're like, <laughs> Like whatever, I'm, that's the, not the exact noise, but man, it was deaf people's laugh is the best laugh. We are supported by Bespoke Post this spring. As you get back outdoors to explore, take Bespoke Post on all your adventures with a new lineup of essential box of awesome collections for you guys, guaranteed to upgrade your life. They have cool stuff, man. Whether you're out taming the wilderness or taking your home bar to pro level heights, Bespoke Post only sends guys the best stuff every month. No matter what you're into, Box of Awesome has you covered. From style and grooming goods to barware, cooking tools, and outdoor gear, Box of Awesome has collections for every part of your life. You know what it's like? It's like when you read those magazines and it says these are the 10 essential coolest things and you're like, oh yeah, these things all look red. They send you that. They send you the list of the coolest stuff. Like the shaving one they sent me had all shaving gear that I was like, yeah, I mean, I wish I had this and now I do. It's all cool. Get 20% off your first monthly box when you go sign up at boxofawesome.com and enter the code CAVE at checkout. That's boxofawesome.com, code CAVE for 20% off your first box. So I get off the bus like a moron because this kid's dead. And I, I walk through the crowd. I'm, I'm going through. Everybody's doing their thing. I grab him by the wrist and I just drag him across the gravel. Your deaf cousin? No, this the is the knocked the, out guy. The naked guy the with the sideway guy. nose. Yeah, sideway nose. I drag him across the gravel, literally dragging him. They put him up. Oh my God. I get up, I get up through the back, the emergency. You know, remember when that remember when you rode I a school bus? That. that was like the day that was like, fuck yeah, we get to jump out of the back of the I bus. I remember today. that. So I get in that way, we shut the door, and now there's this is Baltimore. So now random people who are just passing by the alley of in between the are just Getting in fight. They're just like, fuck, yeah. They're just, oh God, God, God. So it's mayhem. Now there's maybe 50 people in these two, between these two buses. Like the path between you and I right now is just going off. And this lady starts the bus. She doesn't give a fuck. She's like, I don't give a fuck if everybody's on this bus or not. The bus in front of us leaves, right? My cousin, he's just, you know, meandering through the fucking thing. And then like anyone would until you see this dust up. And he walks in and we're like, Gary, 
Gary, and he can't hear shit. We're up in the bus, like waving, trying to get him. Like Gary, and he's just walking. Then he sees, but he's a Baltimore kid, born and bred. And someone, and he's deaf. someone pushes him, and he's just like, yeah. And now he's in there, and he's fucking everybody. <laughs> and I'm at the window here, and I'm reaching down the bus when I'm grabbing his hair. I'm like Gary, because he can't hear. I'm like Gary, Gary, Gary. Oh, he wants Gary to do it. There's a shark. <laughs> Swat and fucking fight. I'm like, Gary. And he finally sees this boy. Get on the bus. Now, all five of us are accounted for. I don't give a fuck anymore. They are bashing this bus. Our, our bus looks like it was on jackass. You know what I mean? Oh, like, I know it that is bus. I know that bus. Annihilated. Yeah. This woman's screaming. She fucking throws that thing in drive. The cops show up. Now the cops are pepper spraying everybody in between. The shit's in our. We're like, get the fuck. And she just punches the gas and gets us the fuck out of there, okay? We had another bus with us. But so many people were left behind. When they showed up, we all met at like this park and ride. Our bus looked like like Richard Pryor's bus and busting loose. <laughs> Their bus is all trashed. And there's like a hundred people. They're sitting in the aisles. There's three to a seat. Like they packed them in there oh. and came back. And that's the craziest fucking fight I've ever seen. Oh man. I got nothing to I got nothing to talk I'll about. I'll tell you this one. You'll like this one. This was the last night. I, now this one I'm really in i've been in a lot but this one was one of my favorites i i worked at ups the whole time i was in college shout out to ups baltimore hub primary one joe avenue and i could never get off i was a supervisor and you don't miss so i had a friend of mine's mom call and say that i was working for them as a delivery driver which i was also and that i got picked up on a bad plate and they were holding me at this cell so i couldn't get to work that was the excuse I had to use to get out of fucking being a supervisor at UPS, just so I could go drink with my brother one last night before I moved to California. Do you realize what different white people we are? Yes. I I've never used a, I got picked up on a bad plate and I'm in a holding cell. <laughs> I just said I shit my pants. <laughs> well, they were they, they were owned a junkyard and they were recycler tags. So you could just take one and throw it on any car you wanted. So it was a thing we made up. I get out of work. I go off my brother that night. This is... The Orioles are good at this time, right? So I'm in the bar. I'm watching. We're in Towson. Um, it's me, my brother, a few girls, a couple guys. And there's this one guy that I don't really care for, but he's there. And my brother's playing pool uh, against these. It's my brother and this dude I don't really like and these other two strangers playing pool. And my brother misses this easy ass shot. And the guy's like, yeah, nice shot. And my brother, he had a, the guy had his beer sitting on the edge of the pool table. My brother just takes a stick and just without even, he just knocks it off and goes, what do you think of that shot? And I was like, oh, here we fucking go, bro. I wish I had those balls. Here we fucking go. I wish I had those balls. <laughs> oh, fuck. What do you think so, of that shot? Do you realize how quickly I would be next to that beer <laughs> on the ground doing? Huh, so it's you again, huh? So uh, they get heated. Things ramp up a little bit. I don't really care, but they go outside. And my friend Nikki comes in and she's like, Ryan, your brother's or, or they're fighting the one guy. And I'm like, I don't I don't care about that guy. And they're like, and then she comes back. She's like, your brother's in it. I'm like, fuck. God damn it. I so, wish I had a brother that I had. I may be a better fighter if I had a brother. Well, if your brother's in it, you got to go out. Let me rephrase that. My brother would be an awesome fighter for the amount of shit I would have gotten him in. Fair enough. Yes. It's like, oh, fuck, Bert's getting his ass kicked again. Hold on. So I go out. Now, my brother, I'm the runt of the family. My brother's like 6'2", but he's slender. And um, there's this, this dude's big as shit, this guy. He's fucking, and I'm like, oh, my brother's going to get his ass kicked. And my brother unleashes this shot and just drops the dude. <sighs> I'm like, fuck, yeah. And then somebody jumps on my back. So I flip this guy over. I get him on the ground. I just start fucking pummeling his face. Like, I don't even care. I'm just going for it. Well, what I don't know while I'm fighting. So my friend Nikki's standing right there. This turned her on so much, too. This, I see a plaid, because it was 90s. I see a plaid uh, flannel, grab my arms. I make the slight mistake thinking it's somebody from my group pulling me off this guy. But it's not. It's his buddy. So his buddy... And then another buddy show up and I'm fighting all three of them and I'm doing just fucking fine. I'm crushing them and I'm saying shit later. I'm saying shit like three on one. That's the kind of shit I fucking like, but I won't let their guy go. I'm like, you can break my head open, but this guy's going to fucking die. I would I, be like three on one seems super unfair. 
<laughs> Not time out. Me, time out. No. Can you call a time out? And fight? I'm do- hell no. And I'm doing this thing where his head's just enough off the ground. So when I hit it, it hits. It's a double hit. So I'm bashing his face and giving him a concussion. I'm going for it. And I'm stoked that there's three of them on me. And then um, the cops come. We get the fuck out of there. And my brother looks good. But then he turns to the side. And he is, I called him Kennedy. His motherfucking whole side of his face is gushing blood. I'm like, what the fuck happened? I saw you drop that guy. He's like, some dude came behind me that wasn't even part of the cruise. That asshole. And just sucker punched my brother and dropped him. So we're riding back, and everyone's comparing everyone. It's just me and my brother. All the other guys we hung out with were pussies. Like, well, I, I go to one guy. I'm like, where the fuck were you? He's like, I went to get the car. I said, get the fuck. I've done that before. I went to get the car. I've actually You're done the that. guy who would be friends that. with anyone. We're going to need to get the car, guys. There's tennis <laughs> rackets in the back. I'll get, we can, we well, that's fine. This motherfucker did. He didn't drive the car over. He didn't go get it. He went to get in the car. There's a big difference. I got pulled out of my car one time, and my buddy, I'll say his name, <laughs> took the car to go get other people and i was like i'm getting beat up here <laughs> yeah where are get you going in my of- car i had another fo- oh, let me finish this one so i um we're comparing co- and all i have are just bloody knuckles and my brother's like that's it and and nikki's like oh my god you should have heard him he was over there talking about three on one that's what i like i was like you like that huh she's like i like that shit i'm like what's up, then bro? she looked at you and she's like two on one's what i like, like. We're gonna and talk you and your brother we're, tonight. <laughs> we're gonna be talking when we're fucking tonight uh, but I did add another fight too. Uh, was at an indoor soccer game. My father was there, and these kids were talking shit to us or whatever. And I go, listen, we had just beat him, and this guy kept running his mouth, and uh, we had had beef with him a couple weeks before. So it was yeah. all end up being a setup, which I didn't know. I walked into a setup, but I walked over to my dad. I'm like 16. I go, hey, hold my bag real quick. This guy wants to fight me outside. And I'm going to go out, whip his ass. My dad's like, all right, be careful. And he just goes back to talking to whoever he's talking to. So I go outside <laughs> and there's the guy standing there. And I'm just not that dude. Like if we're fighting with that, all that, let's go, whatever. So I walk out and he's like, all right, I'm just, I don't, I do what that girl did to me. We don't talk. <laughs> we're just fucking punching you right in your mouth. And yeah. I get on top of him and I just start beating him. And then in hindsight, now I know what happened, but I heard car doors closing. Um, and the next thing I know, there's a bunch of people on my back beating the fuck out of me. So what happened was he lured us out. They were all waiting there. Uh, I've been lured yeah. before. So I'm beating the fuck out of this guy there. I still have a scar back here from it. They had their high school rings. They turned them around. They were fucking beating my head. I went to my car. I got my lacrosse stick. I'm hitting everybody I could. Listen, parents are fist fighting. Parents are throwing kids. It's mayhem. Jesus. It's, it's fucking mayhem the place calls the police they're all coming we're all all our parents are there we're like get the fucking cars get out of here um but yeah I, i've got a wicked scar there still from that but um, i've been lured i've been lured my story doesn't sound quite as tough but uh my um, i was uh running documents for my dad's legal firm <laughs> already down <laughs> just say running numbers for your dad just say that change it to running numbers for my dad and i come back i come back it's like four o'clock i'm getting ready to be done for the day and i go in and his secretary jan was like uh hey these kids are out back and they're um shooting bbs at our cars can you go scare them and i was like i'm 17 years old i go yeah i go scare them so i go out and i go hey they're in now my dad's office was say at uh, at sea level this backyard it was in forest hills it was like below sea level so it was a lower backyard than where my dad's office was so i go out and they're like probably 10 years old maybe 12 i'm 17 maybe they're 13 and they're like and they have bb guns i go hey guys don't shoot bb guns at the car and the kid just goes and shoots me in the chest i go (laughs) i go hey don't shoot me and then his buddy lifts up his bb gun and shoots me and i go shoot me one more time and I'm going to fucking jump over here and kick your ass. And they'll go, we'll get a few shots in first. I go do it. And they start giggling. I go, that's what I fucking thought. So I go inside. I get my last run for the day. I get my little envelope. I walk out to the car and they're in the back and they're standing on a picnic ba- table and they're like in their backyard and they're like, Hey, Hey, you know what they said? They didn't say like, Hey, excuse me, mister. Yeah. <laughs> hey, F word. And you're like, did you just call me Farley or, and so, and I was like, what's up? And they're like, you still going to kick our asses? And I go, you shoot me one more time. <laughs> like oh, hey, if you me. shoot me one more time, I will. <laughs> and the kid just real slowly takes his gun 
aims at me and just shoots me in the chest. <laughs> and I go, that does it. So I go to That's jump over it. the fence. And as I jump over the fence, their 22-year-old brother comes running around the corner. I'm oh, like, oh, God, no. oh, God, oh, God. <laughs> I jump in my car. I lock the door. I'm like, fuck. I left the documents on the door on this fence. <coughs> Fucking zoomed away uh, for the next five years. Every time I went to my dad's office, I parked in a different spot so those kids couldn't see me. Come on. Every five years. I'm not like I'm not a tough guy. I'm just a regular, I'm a regular Look, guy. Like I'm a regular guy. I say this and I think, all the time. Can I tell you? Yeah. This is that I think what I think more people need to uh, get in touch with is there there is a very finite amount of tough guys out there. The vast majority of us are the guys getting our ass kicked. The all of us think we can fight, but none of us can. Like, I, you know, I used to joke around Kevin Hart, like boxing and stuff, you know, and, and Andrew Schultz boxing. They're not on podcasts, but I'd make, make fun of them to our buddies or whatever. What are the fuck are they doing? They actually can fight. Like, they can punch anyone who can box and throw punches and knows to keep your hands up and knows to pivot on a hook or what, like that shit. That is so impressive to me because I I've been living my whole life almost like blinded to the fact that I could not defend myself, but I, I was living like I could. It's almost like you get into the beach and they're like, uh, that was fun. They're like there were sharks all over the place. <laughs> yeah. and you're like, I didn't know that. Now I'm, I don't want to go in the water. I realize my, my capabilities. Well, did you get beat up young? No. See every, every, I, I listen, I think every boy and girl should have their ass kicked when they're young. It's the greatest thing because it's very. It, it, that would be a fun job to have, just beating up children, beating up kids. <laughs> like Number you one, forty grand a year, and you just went to grade schools. You're like, hey, who's the tough guy here? And they're like, Bryce, and you're like, whoop up, and everyone's like, <laughs> I got you. Bryce isn't a problem anymore. Bryce isn't a problem. Right, anymore. that's it. It's the guys that like, like Jay Larson. Never been punched in the face, and I'm like, <laughs> I can't believe you never that have. Makes so much right? sense. Right, it makes so much sense, but. I I've have. been punched in the face. I've been I know the face. when to shut the fuck up. There's a line that some men cross because they've never been punched in their fucking face. They've never been punched in the face. I so, would argue some men and the vast majority of women. Well, that's what <laughs> my that's, wife included. That's why I'm saying shit to men. I don't think I think what? girls should another bully girl, not bully, but you know what I mean. Another tougher girl. You think you're the shit. One punch is usually enough. Like, oh, okay. That, that, Leanne I'm, talked shit to a man with adult braces. And I go, what are you doing? She's like, what? Fuck him. And I was like, no, 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 no. You're not reading the room. He's got adult braces. That meant his parents didn't give a fuck about him when he was a kid <laughs> to fix his smile. The easiest thing. I go, we got our kids braces the second we could, right? His parents didn't give a fuck about him. You know why? They might break some more of his teeth. And I go, this is a man who's trying to get his life together. Doesn't said, have enough money for dentures. Right. And he's like, I'm going to fucking get my shit together. I'm going to get my teeth straight. Number one, I'm going to get my teeth straight. And then I can enter the fucking world like a regular human being. And I go, and you're taunting him. You're trying to draw him back in like fucking Denise. And you're going to have to fight. And I go, yeah. I right. go, have you not, been yeah, privately taking jujitsu lessons? Because I haven't. You know I haven't. And I can't defend myself. She's like, oh, just take a swing. Don't take a swing. I don't swing at you because I'm afraid I'm going to miss. <laughs> Sean Flannery is the guy when I was a little kid. This is so funny because just recently, he his son reached out to me. He used to live across the street and we were in like elementary school. And one day I ran my mouth to him. I said, What I, I said, you're you're stupid, or that was stupid. He goes, say it again. And I said it again. And he beat the shit out of me in my own yard. I went in, I'm crying to my dad, like, uh, uh, and my dad's pissed off because you know, he just wants to watch the fucking Oriole game. He's working doubles and shit. It's the eighties. Like we were good in 83. We won the world series. And, uh, he's like, Hey, yo, you can't be coming over here, beating my kids up on my property. Go over to your fucking house and do that shit. <laughs> so Ryan, you want to come over and play? You're like, no, I learned though. I learned from Sean Flannery. And one day I climbed up on top of my grandmother's, uh, mint green Buick. And I jumped off that motherfucker and Jimmy snook at him. And then I beat the fuck out of him. And then ever since then, it was back and forth. He would win. I would win. He would win. So his son reached out to me recently and goes, hey, man, my dad said that he grew up across the street from you. And there was a time that you got up on your grandma's van and you jumped off and beat his ass. And I said, well, your, your dad's misremembering. It was my grandmother's Buick, but I Jimmy snook at his ass. He's like, oh, my God, this is the greatest story. So I hit his dad up. And I tell him, and he, and he wrote too. I put it on my Instagram. He's like, I took my ass whoopings from Ryan and his twin brother too. But we did. We went back and forth. But it's taught me, like, I knew that I, I still, like I said, I've been in a lot of fights. But even then, I knew 
yeah, we're going, we're going to go. Cause this guy doesn't fucking know when to stop, but I do. I know when to shut up. I, I'm good on that. I'll walk away. Well, I wish someone had shut me up earlier in this podcast. <laughs> You needed to show a flattery, bro. Yeah, I have a, uh, I have a, I have a, I have a Zoom call that starts right now. One hour, seventeen minutes of a podcast. This was a fucking banger. Ryan. Thank you for having. No, no, thank you, man. I am not good when Tom's not here because I don't know how to interact, and it needs to be a certain type of person, dude. Hit it out of the park. I love you, brother. I love you too. Thank you. Bert and Tom, Tom and Bert. One goes topless while the other wears a shirt. Tom tells stories and Bert's the machine. There's not a chance in hell that they'll keep it clean. Here's what we call Two Bears One Cave. No scripts, a bit of booze, amateur partology. Dirty jokes, raunchy humor, no apologies. Here's what we call Two Bears One Cave.